Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be reviewing the the new Huda Beauty Tantor Cream to Powder Contour Bronzer. <laughs> I always get so excited, so I jump straight into the video, and then I'm like, what, wait, wait, what, what are we reviewing today? But we're going to be reviewing these bad boys, and oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I've always wanted something that's so similar to the Chanel um, Soleil de Tan, the cream bronzer that everyone uses, but obviously it doesn't suit my skin tone. And so these look really similar to that. They look so soft. Anyways, I did swatch a few. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out, and today's one's going to go to Farah Pathan. I hope I pronounced that well, but thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Now, can we just take a moment for this uh, PR package? What? It literally opens like this, and how cute is that? We've got a brush here, and I think there's five shades in total. So these will be £26 each. Doubling as a contour and bronzer. <coughs> Tantal is a gorgeous cream to powder formula that grants instant warmth to lackluster complexions. Packed with pigment and blending like a dream, it can be layered to create anything from a subtle glow to dramatic definition. Hello, cheekbones. Clearly someone don't have any here. Sweat and water resistant, long lasting, five shades to choose from. So the fair is apparently a neutral honey shade, best for fair to light complexions. Then we have light, which is ideal for light to medium complexions, but I feel like I could use myself. Um, medium is a neutral mocha shade. It is more of a neutral, it's much darker to light, but again, it's one I could maybe use for a bit more of like intense contour. And then we have tan, which is a deep cocoa shade for deeper complexions. It's a really, really nice shade. And then we have rich which is a deep mahogany and to be honest it's got more of a reddish tint to it so but I feel like it's dark enough for like the most deepest of skin tone so I really really am happy with like the option she has now if you are of a deeper complexion like very deep uh I watch let me see if I can find her Naima Tang I hope I'm saying her right name right she did a review on the um on these contours she's got a rich beautiful complexion so i definitely recommend her if you have a similar skin tone to her and you want to see how these work on her I, I haven't watched the video yet but i saw it on my subscription feed um i need to go watch it but anyways i don't like watching reviews before i reviewed it because you know i want to keep a neutral mindset but anyways i definitely recommend her she's really good so we also have a brush here which is a sculpt and shade brush and i love that you have a smaller side which i think will be amazing for like the nose so the two shades that i probably would use the most would be light and medium i'm really really more attracted to light because it's more of like that warm color i'm gonna try that first and then we'll try and deepen it with the medium shade my ears literally blocked and I can't hear, like, what? I can't hear myself? <laughs> oh, that is such a nice shade. I'm going to blend that first. Did you just see that? That just blended in, like, two seconds. Now, now you don't have to get the brush, but it is very nice, like it's very soft and it's blending is so nice, but let's say you don't want to get it, I definitely recommend a more firmer brush like this because it really like blends the product, product nicely. Let's try on the sides of the nose. Right, I'm really happy for light and I just love how this was so hassle free. Like honestly, I was just blending it and there's no harsh lines, it's soft. Let's try a bit of the um, shade medium. Just for like a bit of a more. Oh, 
partial contour I guess I'm going to grab some of the Huda Beauty Gold, uh, no, this is a Bronze Sands Edition 3D Highlighter Palette. I also forgot to mention that these bronzers have a slight glow to them because when you, like, touch them, they have a bit of that oily feel, but it's not too oily. There's definitely something in there that's giving an acute shine. So I'm going to use this palette right here, which is one of my favourites. And I'm going to grab the bronzer shade. Set that. I'm also going to take some of the blush shade Bora Bora and have that. It's a little bit of a blush. And then finally, a bit of Maldives as a highlight. And there you go. So I just wanted to give a little bit of a close-up. Even if it's a cream to powder, it's still not drying for me. Ignore this, this is just pigmentation. I always mention it like, I can't fix this. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's honestly so nice. So, so nice. That blended so effortlessly. It has a bit of a glow, but then it kind of sets to a powder. Um, it was so easy on the nose because obviously I'm not an expert for the nose, but it just added a bit of shading there. I mean, like, what else? What what bad thing can I say about this? And I really like the shades because I feel like it really can, can um, caters to each skin tone group. Do you know what I mean? Like the deeper shade, which is I think it was the rich one. That shade is so dark. Yes, it's a bit red, but I feel like it could work. And I, if I had a kit, I'd be ha so happy to have these in my kit. All right, guys, I just finished the rest of my makeup quickly. Um, can you believe this is a Primark liquid lipstick? I don't have a shade, but it's basically their um, Mocha Edit Nude Lipstick Set. Only £4. And three out of the four shades i absolutely love so definitely recommend but check out my instagram because i'll have a little like lip swatch video on there um but so shocked not sticky so pigmented and the colors are just so bomb oh my goodness i'm so shocked but yeah just thought i'd mention that my nose is so blocked but anyways i you guys know i'm a sucker for huda beauty products and there's not one thing that I really don't like from her. Like her eyeshadows, like the liquid matte and metals liquid eyeshadows are like the best thing ever. I've got it on my eyes now. If you just want to glam up an eye look, they're just so good. I think she's got amazing products. Even like her perfume, Kayali or Kayali, the vanilla one is something I use every day and I freaking love it. So I just thought I'd mention that just to be honest because I know some of you be like I, I never really say bad stuff about her stuff but like what is there bad to say like my skin looks so soft so beautiful um her products can be quite heavy handed at times I can say that but also in a lot of her products I don't really like the scent so I like the fact that these don't have that perfumey scent that her primers and her foundations have I just thought I'd put that out there. So I'm really glad it doesn't have that. So if you have sensitive skin, it's a big bonus. Um, love the shades. £26. <sighs> How much product do you get in here? 11 grams. Let's compare to the Chanel Soleil de Tan that everyone bloody talks about. So the Chanel one is £40 for 30 grams. There's only one shade. So that to me is already like a no-no because one shade, like, I can't even use it. So each gram costs £1.33. And then the Huda one is 236 per gram. I hope my math is right, but then to me, that's saying to me that this is more expensive for the product you get, for the amount of product you get, compared to the Chanel one. So, 
I can't really comment on the Chanel one because I've never used it, but I thought it would be a good one to compare price-wise and weight-wise. I know you guys really like when I compare, when I talk about the weight and price. Um, but £26, I think I would definitely recommend it. Like, it's amazing for kit. Um, if you just want, since, since summer's coming, you're going to have like this nice bronzy glow. It's so beautiful. If you're around my skin tone or lighter, maybe consider... The light one but then if you want more of a harsher contour go for the medium one i know that if i didn't get this in pr i would have gone for the light and medium i'm also wearing her concealer which i love in caramel cord oh and also i totally forgot to mention like in terms of long wear like i rubbed this so hard with my makeup wipe which is a pretty good makeup wipe to be honest um and it's so hard to come off like it literally is there right there so that just confirms to me that it's pretty long wear. I hope I've touched up on everything. This might be a more pricey product for some, but her products are high end anyways. Um, I didn't think it was gonna be more expensive than the Chanel when you consider price and weight. I really like it, and you only need the smallest amount. And it blends so easily. I think that's what really stood out to me is the blending. Um, and I love that it has that bit of glow to it. I think those are the two points that really stand out to me. I hope you found this review helpful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I'm going to head off, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!